So ISA 560, subsequent events. Let's go straight to the requirements. And our first requirements, events occurring between the date of the financial statements and the date of the audit report, which means we are in period one, because dates of the financial statements is year end. Okay, so what do we have to do? We have to ensure that events that require adjustments or disclosure in this period have been identified. And if we look here, the procedures are in A8. So let's go there. We need to read the latest available budgets or cash flow forecast to see what they anticipated happening. Inquire with the entity's legal counsel regarding litigations of claims and get written representations. If we go back, it says, what do we need to obtain an understanding of and what are the things we need to inquire of management? A9 says we need to ask them specific questions, whether there were new commitments or borrowings, or acquisitions of assets post year end, or assets destroyed or appropriated by government, whether they have any developments regarding contingencies, unusual accounting adjustments, events that have occurred with regards to the recoverability of assets. Okay, so specific questions we need to ask. We need to read minutes of meetings held after the date to see if anything important has taken place and the latest interim financial statements for the next period because they will give us what's actually happened in that time. And if we identify any, we need to make sure they've been accounted for correctly and get written representation from management that they have accounted for it correctly. Next is period two. When facts become known after the date of the audit report, but before the financials are issued. We have no obligation to perform any audit procedures. So we don't need to do those identification procedures. However, if facts become known to the auditor, that they may have then amended the audit reports if they knew of these facts. We need to discuss the matter with management, determine whether financials need amendments, and inquire with management how they intend to address it. If management amends, we need to carry out the audit procedures to test the amendment and extend the audit procedures that we needed to do to identify to the date of the new audit report. Okay, because now when we issue our audit report, it's going to be after the time we initially wanted to issue it. And so those procedures for period one now need to be extended to the new audit report date. And we need to then provide a new audit report. Okay, because we're changing the date, we're changing the scope of period one, and we're including additional procedures. All right, then, period three, when facts become known after the financial statements have been issued. So they've been given to the users. Once again, we have no obligation to perform any audit procedures. However, if facts become known, that may have amended our audit report, we need to, one, discuss the matter with management, two, identify the, if the financial statements need amendments and inquire with management if they intend to do so. If they amend, carry out audit procedures to test the amendments, review the steps management take to inform the users who have the financials, and then, Extend the audit procedures to identify to the new audit report date, so for period one, and provide a new audit report. So the same procedures as we did in period two. However, new thing is, if management don't take the steps to inform the users of the previous financials of this amendment, the auditor needs to take steps to notify the users that there's a new report that they need to use when making decisions on that business. 
So that's ISA 560. Let's go and attempt this class example one, guys. It is made up of two questions, so it's quite a long class example, but I feel like it's a nice comprehensive look at your subsequent events. So take the time to actually do this. You're going to have reading time of 4.5 minutes and writing time of 22.5. Okay, but it's split between two questions, so try and stick to the time for each of those questions.